Italy is the perfect place to have this expo because when the world thinks of Italy, they think of food. Italy uh, is the primary place where people look to uh, for the best in quality food and cuisine. The world will look to Italy for new ideas about food. And I know here, the slow food movement, ecological-based food, organically-based agriculture, all of this is becoming uh, essential to how Italians perceive their relationship with the farming. We want the rest of the world to see what Italy does. Italy can lead, and the rest of the world hopefully will follow that lead. They're all interrelated. Uh, we have real-time climate change now imperiling our ability to survive on this earth. What people don't realize is how terrifying climate change is because it changes the water cycle of the earth. We're the watery planet. We go to other planets with satellite probes. They have no water. We're not interested. Our scientists tell us we're now in the sixth extinction event of life on earth. We've had five massive extinction events and each time life was eliminated very quickly from the planet and it took maybe 10 million years each time to recover that biodiversity loss. So what we need to do is we need to create a new, more sustainable approach to living on earth so that we can continue to feed ourselves, provide water, and not only steward our species but also preserve the right of our fellow species to continue to live on earth. 99.5% of all the species of life that have ever existed on this little planet in the universe have come and gone. Human beings have been here about 175,000 years. There's no guarantee. This expo is important because it gives us a moment of time to reflect on why we're on this planet and what our responsibility is to our species and our fellow creatures. So if we can use this expo as an opportunity to bring the human race into a great global conversation, how we can move to a new third industrial revolution, this expo will have made an imprint that will be important to future generations. I hope that happens. The big problem with food production today is that we have a limited amount of agricultural land. Our population is increasing from 7 billion to 9 billion people. But what people are unaware of is that upwards of 40% of all the agricultural land in the world is growing feed crops for animals. It means a tremendous loss of opportunity to grow food for everybody else. We need to move down the food chain. We're omnivores. We have to move our diet from a meat diet back to a fruit and vegetable diet so that everyone can have access to land to grow food for their children. I'm in favor of ecological, organic, sustainable agriculture, eliminate the pesticides, and create more of a relationship between our food and the environment. So there's a lot that can be done. And you know, uh, uh, our food tells us a lot about ourselves.